In order to measure segments, we use a ruler. To measure angles, we'll need the help of a protractor. Have a look at the board. It's like a round ruler. It's like a semicircle. That is the center. The protractor helps us to measure angles and to draw them. What can you see in the round part, as you've called it? Dashes, all at the same distance as in a ruler. Those little dashes mark the arc degrees. The arc degree is the 90th part of a right angle. We call right angle to each part formed at the intersection of two perpendicular straight lines. Does that mean that we can divide the right angle into 90 equal parts? Now here we've got another problem. There is one new angle, which is the sum of two right angles. And it's called straight angle. The angles smaller than a straight angle are called convex angles. What are those angles? Well, obtuse, acute, and right angles are all convex angles. Miss, you said that by using protractors, we can measure the angles, but how? We must place the protractor on the angle in such a way that its center is on the vertex of the angle and its base on one of its sides. That side will measure 35 degrees. We could also say that the length of that angle is 35 degrees. Why? Is it wrong to say that it measures 20 degrees? It's not wrong. When we measure something, we are actually comparing that object to another one we previously called unit. So a right angle is 90 times a 1 degree angle. Very good. The right angle is 90 degrees. If we take the degree as a measuring unit, Lucy, could you check the clock in the kitchen and tell me the time, please? It's 90 degrees. What are you saying, Lucy? It's 3 o'clock, Dad. 3. I've been practicing a lot with mad measuring angles with the protractor. So, when I saw the hands of the clock in a right angle, I pictured the time in degrees. How clever! Okay, by the way, how much will the angle of the clock hands measure at 6 o'clock? Mmm, I know. 180 degrees. A straight angle. Good. And what type of angle will be formed at 9.55? An acute angle, of course. Excellent, Lucy. Now, I've got a daughter who can tell the time in degrees. I'm so happy. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!